G'day, welcome back. How are you all doing? I'm doing well. It is still winter time. It is still raining and I just drank a cold coffee. All these things are amazing and uninteresting to anyone but myself. Today we're going to do some color management for some Panasonic Lumix camera. I forget which one it is. I'll leave it in the description so obviously you guys will know. Very simple. All we're going to do is come up to effects here and we're going to go to color space transform. Now my microphone is currently covering this area so it's really annoying if we want to work in a wider color space and rec 709 what we're going to do in input color space we're going to go to panasonic the gamut input gamma we want to be in panasonic again v log now we're going to work in davinci wide gamut so input color space davinci wide gamut output gamma davinci intermediate take tone mapping off we don't need that now easiest thing to do is to Control C to copy this node. Put it on this node here by pressing Control V, obviously. Pretty simple 1995's logic there. Now we can just swap this over for our output color space. We want to be in Rec 709. Now in terms of output gamma, you want to either be in Gamma 2.4 if you're working for a cinema export, or if you're working for YouTube, you want to be on Gamma 2.2. We'll go to Gamma 2.4 today. Now for a tone mapping method, we want to be in luminance mapping, use custom max input, crank that bad boy right up as always, use custom max output. Now for our gamut mapping method, we want to go to saturation compression. That is going to put our camera in a nice space to grade in. Basically all we're doing is putting our footage to what the camera recorded on the day. So this is some lovely Panasonic footage here. I actually really like this footage. I was very surprised when I started grading it, how nice it actually is. So if you wanted to work, let's say with the LUT, you would put a LUT before your output color space, your ODT here, and after your IDT here. So always make sure your LUT is the one just before your output color space. So in this LUT here, or in this node here, we're gonna turn into a LUT. We just come up to our LUTs. Now you can't see this obviously, but trust me, it is happening. It's exciting. You can just put a LUT on here. That is way too green. So let's say something like that looks pretty nice, or we can go to this one. So now we have a nice LUT going on, and then you would start your color grading process. So adding saturation, maybe a little bit of contrast. Maybe you want to bring down these highlights a little bit, but all in all, that is basically about it. It's very simple. This is more of a color management for that camera than it is a color grading video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see other cameras with color management, make sure to leave a comment below. Now I have actually forgotten a few of them, so I'll have to come back and make sure to do those ones. People did comment, so forgive me for that. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to comment below and have a great day. And I've been Drew and thanks for watching.